My name is Naomi Wanjiku Gakunga. I was born and grew up in Kenya. I've been an artist since I was born. I don't remember a time when I was not creating. And so what I'm bringing with me when I create is memory and history and the present. You just walk and you chat with your friends and hey. In the early 60s, Kenya was becoming independent. A lot of men went to the big city to look for jobs because we became a cash economy. So the labor was no longer divided between the women, the men, and the children. Women found themselves really overwhelmed. And this is a group of women who had decided to re-roof their homes, change their roofs from grass thatch to mabati, or sheet metal. My grandmother was one of these women. With the roofs, they harvested water. The cash crop, of course, especially the coffee, brought them an income. And they were able to negotiate education for their girls. I started looking for material that could be similar or could have the same effect as the mabati that I had seen growing up. The mabati itself, really, when you go back and you see what it did to the women, it transformed their lives because with that, they entered the society. They became very powerful women. They planted their own cash crops. They had their own economy going. I really enjoy using Mabati because it's really always one of a kind pieces. Although I live it outdoors and nature takes care of uh, the transformation of the material itself, nature is never the same. Since 2012, you could always say it's a mapping of the South Texas weather. The piece itself is called Itonero. The nearest translation is entrances, but it's almost that which gives you access to, or that which gives you entry. So I am a beneficiary of that entrance that the Mabati women of the 1960s used to move forward. They still empower anybody who comes across the story of these women, feels empowered, feels inspired feels transformed, and that is what the Mabati, my Mabati, the project is about.